What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and welcome back to the channel. And today we're diving into an exciting tool for our Linux enthusiasts, and that's BPyTop. And this powerful resource monitor brings a new level of interaction and visualization to your system's performance data. So if you're into Linux or aspiring to deepen your technology, you're in the right place. So let's get started. All right, so I'm at the GitHub page for BPyTop. And like I stated earlier, BPyTop is a resource monitor that shows usage and stats for your processor, memory, disk, network, and process. And let me scroll down right fast so I show you guys a screenshot of it. But as you can see, it's super dope. It's super detailed the way this application looks. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably say, oh, that looks a little familiar. And yes, it is. It's built using Python, but it's a port of bash top, which I covered on this channel a couple years ago. And so it's pretty much the same. It offers a easy to use game inspired menu system. And I'll show you guys that once we get it installed. And then one cool thing about it, it uses full mouse support. And this makes it fast and responsive as far as the UI goes. And then one cool thing about it, it has the ability to filter processes and sort data right from the terminal. But let me go back up here to the top. I just want to show you guys what systems you can get it installed on. You can get it installed on Mac OS. It's supported on FreeBSD and pretty much a whole bunch of Linux. You can go through and check out the package status and see what it's available on. And today I'll be getting it installed on a Arch based Linux distribution. So as you can see, if it's uh, good on Arch, it's good on the version of Arch that I'm gonna use, which is Manjaro. So if we scroll down here, it's good on Manjaro stable testing and unstable uh, using that 1.0.68, which I believe is the most recent release. And like I said, it's a whole host of Linux distros, pure OS, void, Linux, Ubuntu, of course, Ubuntu is always there, Debian as well. And then also there's an ARM version so you can get it installed on your Raspberry Pi. Now, I recommend you guys check out the documentation and a little bit more of the information about the application, but let's go on and hop over to my virtual machine so I show you guys how to get it installed on Manjaro Linux. So be right back. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ. Co. All right, so I'm logged into my virtual machine, and like I said, this is Manjaro. And before we install BPyTop, you want to ensure that the system is ready. And the way you do that is by running updates. So I already have a terminal open. Let's go down and bring it up right fast. And first thing you want to do is run sudo pacman and then dash capital S and then YU. And this will run through and update your system. It'll check the repository, make sure the system is fully up to date. Now, before I install it, I just want to show you guys one more thing. So I already have the ArchLinux.org page up. And even though this is Manjaro, I always use the Arch Linux page because it's a whole lot more information on the website as well as the wiki. This is one thing I like about the Arch Linux page is the wiki. Now, yeah, Manjaro has their own wiki but Orange Linux in my opinion is a little bit more detailed it has a lot more information that you can find and a lot of times you may end up finding yourself on the Orch wiki a whole lot more even if it's an Orch based Linux distro they just got top-notch documentation and even for distros that are not even Orch based I find myself on the Orch Linux either wiki or in their form or anything like that but I just want to show you guys that the application is in the main repository so let me go back over there and let's search oh it's already there but bpytop i just wanted to check it earlier that's why it's already popping up but bpytop 
is there so if we click on there you can see the package it points to the github page and all that good stuff now one other thing i want to show you before i leave this page because i'm gonna close it after this i just wanted to show you guys that it was in the main repository but if you go to the wiki or user wiki and this is what i was talking about that their wiki if you go into list applications this gives you all the information about all the different applications that are in the repository majority of these applications that are in this repository are in the arch based linux repositories and so you can find all the documentation, you know, about pretty much any application that's in there or whatever, and it's well documented. And enough about what let's go back to BPI top. So let's go down and get it installed. All we had to do is type sudo pacman and then dash capital S and then BPI top. And let's press enter. That'll install the dependencies as well as the package. So type Y and then go through and install it. It's super small. It's a Python package. You know, it does, it's not that big. And so let's go down and show you guys how to, let's see, let's start off by looking at the version right fast. So you guys can see it's the exact same version. So be top. And all you gotta do is type dash dash version. And that'll show you the version is 1.0.68, which is what I showed you guys at the GitHub page. And then it also has a dependency of PSUtil, which is like a Python library that's added to it. That's something you install using pip, I, I believe, or it comes with Python. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, let's go down and open up bpytop. So let's type that in and I'll open up the application. As you can see, it looks pretty much like these screenshots as well as bash top and so this is gonna basically track all the information on the system or at least display it up in front of you so super dope application you got your cpu up here you even have the frequency of your processor up here as well so you got your memory graph you got your io swap you and you can change some of this stuff i'm gonna show you guys in a second your networks information displayed here and then you also got you know your processes over here so and then all you have to do is click in certain spots so if you click on graph that'll change it that'll change the type of graph that they're showing for that specific section you could you know look at it the way you want to look at it and it's based on the specific section that you're looking at and the same thing over here in your swap so if we get clicking here and actually i clicked on memory and that expanded the memory so we go close that back but if you click swap that'll move the memory over there so like i said you got a lot of cool little you know clicks that you could do up in here and then as you can see all the different colors in here so the gray that allows you to if you hit the d like for instance is this that's the shortcut for it so if you click d that'll change the disc and make it huge the i on your keyboard that'll show you the io we can hit the i again that'll take it back so it brings back up the io as well as swap and this and so your networking you can go down here it's a couple other things you can click on you can change it to where it's monitoring a spe specific networking device so it, that right there is just your loop back and then this is your main and that's pretty much all i want to show there and then under your processors or products uh, you can check out all your processes that are running on the system you can filter certain things so if you press f which is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press f and then you can start filtering what you want to see so xor that's what i was looking for and then you can click out of it and they'll get you out the filter and then you got your you could change up the view so reverse on the way things are displayed uh, you can set up tree or show tree that way it'll break it out in a tree form so you see all the applications that are dependent on a specific process so like system d you know you got cups sd you know ssh agent you know all these are dependent on system d and you can turn that off as well and then also you can specify the responsiveness that you want to see and you can change it up based on the program so let's say we go in here and let's look at the tree let's go back to a specific pack application right fast so if we go down here let's look at light dm let's click there if you click on a process it opens up the menu down at the bottom you can select you can get info where it's already selected but you can select and unselect if you click it again so i'm gonna click it back or click back on the actual process and then if you click here under info Watch what happens. It pulls up information 
about that specific process that we have selected, which is super cool. You know what I'm saying? That's all based on that one that we selected, which is Xorg. And then also you can go back. Let's go back down here to Xorg. We can click on it again and you can terminate or kill that process, which we're not gonna do. Obviously, it's not a good thing. And let's click up in here. Let's hit info. And then one thing in order to close this out, all you have to do is hit close. That'll close that out for us. So super cool to actually see. And it looks better if the terminal is a little bit bigger. So let's go on and make it super big. Let's do it again one more, one more time. Let's check out the information. Boom. And that looks super cool. It, it gives you all the information about that actual process that we're clicked on. So let's go down and close that. Just wanted to show you guys that. Oh, and let me go back in there right fast. I want to show you guys, you can terminate, kill, interrupt that process as well up here. So let's go down and close that out. All right, so back up to the top. I want to show you guys this right fast. So if we go under modes, let's click modes. We can look at stats. And so this shows you in a different format and the way it looks. If we click on the back under here, it shows you just strictly procs or processes. So you can check that out. You know, it makes it kind of huge and then you're full. So as you can see, it kind of changes up the look. It always keep the CPU up there, but it, you can select between this information over here or the process information. All right. And so let me show you guys the menu right fast. So if we click menu, you can go into options and it's a, so many options. And that's why I wanted to do a full video on this. Just showing you guys all our options, but you got color themes. You can go ahead and change this. All you got to do is hit the right arrow. It'll change it to a different one. Let's just change it to something cool. So you guys you can see they got grayscale let's see adapter let's nah let's try something different that's like let's try that uh, you can also modify a little bit more of the theme so theme background you can change the true color let's see shown boxes you could change out what you don't want to see so if you don't want to see the memory you can remove that or the networking you remove that and it'll make the other devices fill in to the spots that are not needed update uh milliseconds so it's set, set at 2000 you can also adjust it up here i know you guys probably seen this up here but you can adjust it up there as well the clock let's see background updates true show battery true so it does show the battery as well so let's go under cpu but it's a whole lot of changes in here you can do for the cpu like you can set the stats and how you want them shown i won't go through them all because it's it's a lot it's like two pages of stuff let's go to memory same same thing you can go through modify what you want to see and how you want to see it networking as well processing as well so super dope you know as far as the application let's go on the escape out of this and so we can look at that theme right fast let's go to escape and that theme looks super cool i kind of like the way that one looks i think that's the one i have set on my personal machine that's why it looks so familiar and it made me you know select that way and that's pretty much it that's how you install and start using b pi top on manjaro or whatever distro you want to use it on and as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down in the comment boxes below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel for more Linux tips and tutorials. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techie.